shot on stage, which you got to play generic drops for days. Still the people Welcome to the multiverse. It's delightful, isn't it? This is amazing. There is even more to see if you open your mind and look to the cosmos. You will encounter the various vessels that we have existed in. Ah, yes. I was once a great Egyptian pharaoh in Giza. Unfortunately, that vessel met its demise from the bite of that wicked asp. Do you remember, Brother Buzz? You roamed about Antarctica centuries ago. Was I some kind of explorer? No, you were a polar bear. Oh, let me guess. I was a shark too. No, your vessel was eaten by a shark off the coast of Australia in the 1940s. How gruesome. What's that? I think it's the Blade of Baron. Good match, Van Gogh. It seems as if we've slipped into the current dimension. I am truly happy for you. I don't want to be here. Big things are happening for us. He is a soul most tortured who has lived many conflicted existences. Wakey, wakey. I said I don't want to be here. Make it stop. You must you face your fears to, to find your inner demon, you brother Buzz. due to hallucinations. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad time. Uh, You're like a son to me. You're like a son to me. You're like a son to me. Stop! That's it. You did it. You're now ready to create your alter ego that will walk beside the Demon King. Yes! You are now ready to delete the consumer of terrestrial entities! Yes! Hey, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Bzzz. Wake up, I'm talking to you. Finn? Where have you been? I was in the multiverse with Matt Hardy finding my inner demon, just like you suggested. You've been gone for weeks. Weeks? Welcome back, Brother Buzz. I neglected to mention that the multiverse creates rifts in the Earth's time spectrum. What felt like 30 mortal minutes was indeed many weeks. Oh, God. But it was well worth it in your effort to make the vile Bray Wyatt obsolete. Weeks. You're probably a little out of sorts right now, but our big tag match versus Bray Wyatt and Cole is tonight, so you need to get your head on straight if we're going to defeat them and have any chance of helping Cole get out from under Bray's control. Don't worry, okay? I may have been gone for much longer than expected, but I found what I was looking for, and you'll be seeing it tonight. Weeks. He did it! It took channeling his inner demon to walk alongside the demon king, Finn Balor. But Buzz has finally defeated Bray Wyatt. But where does Cole Quinn stand in all of this now? It's over now, Cole. Bray never cared about you. But I do. Come with me. Everything will be okay. I'm sorry, Buzz. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's all over. This is bigger than revenge. Buzz has seemingly rescued his friend Cole Quinn from Bray Wyatt's control.
Finn Balor doesn't just throw that gesture around to anyone. It's reminiscent of what we saw between Buzz and AJ Styles in Japan. But what does it mean? It means that Finn Balor and Buzz have formed a bond that won't soon be broken. After his huge win at the Royal Rumble, Buzz is ready to address the WWE Universe. I was recently on a podcast where they said that after I unleashed my inner demon to defeat Bray Wyatt, that I was now the new monster among men in WWE. You can either agree or disagree with that statement, but it got me thinking. If I really want a nickname like that, I have to earn it. Which brings me to Braun Strowman. What better way to become the new monster among men than to defeat the old monster among men and become universal champion? So I might be crazy, but Braun, I'm calling you out. Let's find out face to face if I am what they say I am. That is not Braun Strowman. No, but he's just as dangerous. Possibly more. The new monster among men, huh, Buzz? It sounds like someone's gotten a little full of themselves. Now, I'll admit, you've had some success. But that's because you've had it way too easy under Kurt Angle. Now, sure. You've had some tough battles, and I've stripped you of your title when you were injured. But Kurt's pretty much been looking out for you the entire time. Well, that all changes now. Because I'm going to personally make sure that nothing on Raw is ever easy for you again. That means no more of you getting to request matches, let alone title shots, whenever you want. In case you need a reminder, you don't have that kind of authority. I do. So if you want a shot at Braun Strowman and his universal title, it'll be on my terms. First, you'll have to win a handicap match tonight versus the bar. Triple H is stacking the deck against Buzz. You tried to stop What's new? me at every turn from the Indies to NXT to SmackDown and now here on Raw and I'm still standing. This time will be no different. I'll overcome whatever you put in front of me to become the Universal Champion. That's great, but you didn't let me finish. It's not going to be a two-on-one handicap match. It's going to be a three-on-one. Because you're facing the bar and Samoa Joe. And by the way, that match is going to happen right now. I told you I'd never forget what you did. Buzz has to beat the bar and Samoa Joe. There's no way he pulls this off. I'm going to have to agree with you, Corey. These odds seem truly insurmountable. Somehow, Buzz did it! I can't believe it. Now let's see if Triple H gives him the Universal title shot. Oh, no. It's the Universal Champion, Braun Strowman. I don't think he's out here to congratulate Buzz on his win. Oh, oh and look at the punches teeing off. What's next? Oh, no! Incredible power slam, so much torque. Triple H looks on with approval as Braun Strowman has sent a message to Buzz. 
that there's only one monster among men in the WWE Universe. Braun! Just calm down. You'll have a chance to get revenge on Braun Strowman. How? Let me explain. Triple H held up his end of the deal he made with you last week. Since you won the handicap match, you're getting a universal title shot versus Braun Strowman. That's great. There's a catch. Of course there is. There's always a catch with Triple H. What is it? You'll also be facing Samoa Joe, The Miz, Elias, and Bray Wyatt in an Elimination Chamber match. All participants will face off in a six-man tag team match later tonight on Raw. Am I on Braun's team? No. Perfect. Wow, not one, but two huge announcements by General Manager Kurt Angle. Is this a preview of what's to come for Buzz in the Elimination Chamber? This is what happens when you're surrounded by people who despise you. Byron, you should know what that's like. Huh? Buzz ducks out of harm's way! Ron's not gonna like that. Look out, the monster among men has been unleashed. Thankfully, the Miz got away unscathed because he ran away. Wouldn't you? Good point. Yeah. If this is what's happening now, imagine what these men are going to do to each other inside Elimination Chamber. How is Buzz going to defeat this man in an Elimination Chamber match to win the Universal title? How is anyone going to? Be careful what you wish for. It's a saying everyone has heard a thousand times, except apparently you, Buzz, because you asked for this. You said you'd overcome whatever I put in front of you to win the Universal title. Well, this now stands in your path, along with four other superstars who cannot wait to tear you apart in an Elimination Chamber match. It makes me question your mental health. Because only an insane person would wish unimaginable pain and suffering on themselves. Only an insane person would wish to be in a nursing home 50 years from now, unable to hug their grandchildren because of injuries they sustained decades earlier from these hands. But the SWAT team's not out here tonight to protect Braun Strowman from an insane person. No, Buzz. They're here to protect you. They're also here to protect my investment because I want the WWE Universe to pay to see Braun Strowman end your short-lived career at Elimination Chamber. And finally, they're here to protect your wishes, no matter how insane they may be. Buzz, I'm not usually a generous man, but at Elimination Chamber, I'm going to grant you all your wishes. Unfortunately for you, it's not going to be like when John Cena grants wishes. No. <laughs> It'll be much, much worse. What was that? It's Buzz! It's Buzz! <laughs> what just happened? He was wearing some kind of metal plate. He borrowed a page out of Bret Hart's playbook. So he's the one who's been watching old Nitros on WWE Network. You think you're clever with the disguise and the metal plate, huh? We'll see if you can figure out how you're going to survive this to win the Universal title in the Elimination Chamber match. The first two entrants will be you 
and Braun Strowman. The path to the Universal title at Elimination Chamber just became even more difficult for Buzz. Buzz is launched through the pod glass. This is not the kind of start Buzz wanted. And to make things worse, since Bray Wyatt's pod broke, he's now in the match. Are Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt going to work together to take on Buzz? Buzz has overcome all odds, including everything Triple H could possibly throw at him to become the new Universal Champion. That is one of the most impressive gutsy performances I have ever seen. Buzz has earned the right to be called the new monster among men. Not to sound trite, but this will be a moment that people are buzzing about for years to come. Oh, you're better than that, Cole. The new Universal Champion has arrived! And apparently he upgraded his ride. Who puts a giant picture of themselves on their own tour bus? Hey, you would do the same thing if you had a tour bus. Shut up, Saxton. Being champion's already gone to this guy's head. Buzz will make his first appearance as Universal Champion later tonight on Raw. Take a look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? But let's be honest. I didn't look very good for me at the Elimination Chamber. Because thanks to Triple H doing everything in his power to hold me down yet again, not only did I have to defeat Braun Strowman, I had to do it in an Elimination Chamber match against five other superstars where I had to enter first with the Monster Among Men. But despite all of that, I overcame the odds and stand here as your new Universal Champion! So, what's next? Well, here we go again. Buzz can't catch a break. I hate to admit it, but what you said is true. I have done everything in my power to keep this moment from happening, and it didn't work. I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't have a plan B. Or C, or D, or E. You see, I have done everything in my power to stop you except for bringing back the most powerful force in sports entertainment. So you've left me with no choice. It's time for plan E. It's time for evolution. is back. This is not good for Buzz. Triple H has sent a powerful message to Buzz that he will go to any lengths to destroy his career. After what Evolution did to Buzz tonight, it might already be destroyed. We've been wondering all week how Buzz would respond to Evolution's attack, and it looks like we're about to Sir, find I'm out. I'm going to have to ask you to stop right there. You think we're playing here? I don't want to have to hurt you. After the beating he took last week, he'd be better off staying on the bus. Knowing this guy, I don't think that's going to happen. Is Evolution even inside that limo? I don't know, but it looks like Buzz is determined to find out. 
Triple H from behind with a sledgehammer. And now Randy Orton and Batista attack Buzz from behind. We should have known these two would get involved. This certainly looks like a setup now. Oh no. Buzz is trapped in there. This is taking things way too far. No, no, no. We need some medical help back there immediately. It's going to take a lot of work to just get him out of the limo. I can't believe Triple H and Evolution resorted to something like this. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, where if you missed the updates on social media throughout the week, we're happy to inform you that Buzz miraculously escaped last week's limo crash without suffering any major injuries. He may not have suffered any serious injuries, but our Universal Champion looks nowhere near 100% after what Evolution did last week. He's in no condition to be out here. He should have just stayed home to recover. I don't think that's in his DNA. Well, then he needs a gene transplant. Now, I'm not out here to make some long speech about everything Triple H has done to me this past year. No. I'm only out here for one thing tonight. Revenge. Evolution. I know you're back there. And I'm not leaving this ring until you come out and face me. I gotta hand it to you, Buzz. You are resilient. I mean, you survived a high-speed limo crash, and the very next week, you're right back out here looking for a fight. But it seems that for all the guts you have, you're a bit lacking in the intelligence department. Because if you haven't noticed, we have a three-on-one advantage, and I think we all know from the last couple of weeks how that's going to turn out. You know, I may be a bit stubborn sometimes, but I'm not stupid. If anything, Triple H, you've taught me that I can't always do everything on my own. So that's why I decided to even the playing field just a little bit. We saw Buzz team up with Finn Balor in his battles against Bray Wyatt, and now Finn is here once again to have his back. Okay, so you have one other guy. Big deal. We still outnumber you. It's AJ Styles from SmackDown Live! What's he doing here? Obviously, Buzz reached out for backup. Now I'd say it's a little more even. You should know this is far from over. At WWE Fastlane, it will be Evolution versus the three of you. Wow, that is a match I never thought we'd see. Yeah, that is a dream match if there ever was one. There are the three men who will team tonight to take on the reunited Evolution. It's going to be quite the challenge for the new group, the Buzzkills. Well, did you come up with that name, Byron? No, I can't take credit for that. Well, I wouldn't want to either. You can feel the excitement. Buzz is here. The following contest is in a elimination match. Making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 728 pounds, Bass, the phenomenal AJ Styles, and Finn Balor.
Buzz is a man who has sacrificed everything to be here today, even living in his van at times when he was on the Indies. Look, I know I'm not the biggest Buzz supporter, but even I have to admit, that's the definition of paying your dues. threw everything he could at the buzz kills, but in the end, it wasn't enough. If that was truly Triple H's last ditch effort to stop Buzz, then this has to be quite the relief for Buzz to not have to be constantly. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait! I don't understand. These three were just celebrating a huge victory, and now this? Ushiguroshi! What happened? Don't do this. Tough no! no, don't do this! That's what happened. AJ Styles is cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Just when Buzz thought he had friends he could trust. Here's the cover by Mr. Money in the Bank. Incredible. I, I, I can't believe what we just saw. It was nothing short of highway robbery. This is sickening. AJ Styles told Buzz he needed to be prepared for anything to happen tonight, but nobody was expecting this. Was that some kind of warning? I have no idea. For the last couple of days, all I have heard, why, Jay? Why'd you do it? Why did you and Finn turn on Buzz? Well, it's simple. There would be no Buzz if it wasn't for me and Finn. He wouldn't have achieved anything without us. When he was on SmackDown, he used me to get to the top. He didn't beat Nakamura in the Dome in Japan. He stole it from me. He didn't beat John Cena in a submission match. He used the calf crusher that he begged me to teach him. Then when he came to Raw, he was lost without AJ. So he became my burden. I had to bail him out week after week. And I was the reason he found his inner demon. He would have never gotten past Bray Wyatt, let alone beat Braun Strowman for the Universal title if it wasn't for me. But did I get any credit? No. Then we put everything aside to help him take on evolution. And what do we get in return? Nothing. Do you see a trend here? It's always about Buzz. He gets the spotlight. He gets the credit. He gets the title shot. Not us. He was never going to give us anything. So we had to take it. Buzz. People love to rattle off all your so-called accomplishments and talk about how you have had the fastest rise in history to the top of WWE. Well, your biggest accomplishment is still to come when you main event WrestleMania and you lose to the phenomenal AJ Styles. And this time, there is no one to bail you out. You're all on your own. Yeah. The only friend he still has had his brain scrambled by Bray Wyatt and hasn't been seen since. So I don't think he'll be much help. No, he won't. Now with that being said, I kind of figured that you people might not understand why we did what we did. So I arranged a very special guest tonight who can attest to everything I just said. Because Buzz selfishly used him to get to the top just like he did to us. So let's bring him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Buzz's former mentor, Baron Blade. I don't think AJ Styles could get any lower after what he did to Buzz, but he somehow has by bringing out Baron Blade. We haven't seen or heard anything from him since he was revealed as the masked attacker in the match against Buzz in NXT. I wouldn't have shown my face anywhere after that either. He certainly looks like he's had a rough year. I think that's just how he looks. <laughs> Thanks for coming out here tonight, Baron. Can you tell everyone how Buzz used you to get to the top? Then he left you a broken man. I mean, he cost you everything, didn't he? No one will work with you anymore. You've lost your indie promotion, your house. All because of Buzz. That's not exactly how everything went down, AJ. 
I was the one who attacked Buzz after his tryout match and cost him his shot at WWE. None of that other stuff would have happened if I hadn't done that. Uh, hold on. What are you saying? Don't you want to talk about all the terrible things Buzz did to you? I mean, how he left your life in shambles? I'm sorry, but I can't stand out here and bury my former protege. Not a day goes by where I don't wish that I could take back my actions, and honestly, I deserve everything that's happened to me because of it. I didn't buy you a plane ticket so you could come out here and tell everyone how great Buzz is. This wasn't the deal we had. If I had told you how I really felt, I would have never gotten this opportunity to speak the truth. What you and Finn Balor did to Buzz was far worse than anything I did. At least I had good intentions. So I just want to say I couldn't be prouder of everything Buzz has accomplished. And I can't wait to see him beat you at WrestleMania and take back his universal title. I think I've heard just about enough out of you. AJ and Finn Balor are attacking a defenseless Baron Blade. No matter how you feel about Baron, this is bad. He's helpless. AJ's going to break Baron's ankle with the calf crusher. Somebody's got to do something. Oh, there's somebody I was not expecting to do something. Maybe there's hope for these two after all. Well, I never thought we'd see this. Hey, it takes a big man to forgive something like that. Or a foolish man. How long until Baron turns on him again? You might be wondering why Finn is out here with a gift. Well, it's not for me. It's actually for someone we had some battles with recently. No, it's not for Buzz either. His gift is coming at WrestleMania when I give him the gift of defeat. This present is actually for Triple H. So Triple H, if you wouldn't mind, come on out here so we can give this to you. What could this possibly be all about? I know it's not a birthday gift. Triple H's birthday is in July. Why would you know that? I'm a historian. I just want to say, we may have had some differences recently. But that was due to being caught up in Buzz's selfishness. We have clear heads now, right Finn? Much clearer. So just to make sure we're cool, we got you this gift. Go ahead, take it. They got him a referee shirt? We even cut off the sleeves so you can show off your guns. What's this all about? Well, we were thinking, since you really don't like Buzz, and we're positive you want to do everything in your power to guarantee he doesn't get the Universal title, you could be the special guest referee at WrestleMania. So what do you think? I think that's a great idea. All right. Yes.
You gotta be kidding me. The match at WrestleMania is essentially now going to be three on one. You think Buzz is out here to forfeit the WrestleMania match? No way. It must look pretty bad for me right now, huh? Like I've got no chance with Finn Balor on the outside and with Triple H on the inside? Well, that's where you're wrong. Because at WrestleMania, I'm not gonna be on my own. I'm gonna have someone in my corner to even the odds, to watch my back. And that man is Baron Blade. Okay, now Buzz at least has a chance. Yeah, if you can trust Baron, because if he can, it'll end up being four on one at WrestleMania. <laughs> Any chance you're gonna call a fair match tonight? This is it, Buzz, you ready? Yeah, other than some nerves. I've wrestled on some big shows this past year, but never in front of this many people. Hey, what did I tell you when you were nervous before your WWE tryout? All that matters is the ring's the same size. Exactly! You remembered! Any other advice for me? No, I mean, the only thing I have left to say is... Thanks. For what? For everything. For forgiving me, for letting me back into your life. Look, we don't need to get into all that right now, Baron. All that's in the past. I know, but if it wasn't for our past, we wouldn't be here tonight. And it's unbelievable that we are. I'll be honest, when you first got to my wrestling school, I didn't think you would amount to very much at all. Thanks. But you worked hard and proved me wrong. And after your dad, well, I made it my mission to help you realize your potential. I just got too wrapped up in everything, and your dreams became my dreams, and I started living through you instead of for you. But this is your night tonight. This is about your boyhood dream, and I will do everything in my power to help make that dream a reality. That really means a lot. But seriously, let's save any tears for after I win my title back, okay? Okay, deal. Hey, how about a BCW handshake for old time's sake? Uh, I don't know if I remember how to do it. I bet you do. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Tonight at WrestleMania, Buzz steps onto the grandest stage of them all to try to regain his universal title. But he won't be doing it alone. He'll have his mentor. Some would even say his father figure, Baron Blade, you, at his side. You left out turncoat, Cole. This is Baron's second chance to show his true colors, Corey. As far as I'm concerned, he only has one true color. Yellow. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. The van is back. What a WrestleMania moment! Buzz is sending a message AJ Styles and Triple H. You can beat him down, even set him on fire, but he'll still persevere. Yeah, well, unfortunately for Buzz, fancy entrances don't win matches.
Introducing the challenger from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 320 pounds, Bass. Introducing the champion from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, the Phenomenal. AJ Styles! If you didn't think about moving, you better apologize. Equalizer. Baron is a former wrestler. He can hold his own if necessary. Oh, don't be ridiculous. He got lucky. He did it! He did it! Against all odds, he's risen from the ashes to regain his universal title. Enjoy this moment, Buzz, because your dreams are now a reality. A sign of respect from Triple H? We have truly seen it all. I think I'm gonna be sick. I know I've been critical of him in the past, but he earned every bit of this tonight through hard work and perseverance. Congratulations, Buzz.